welcome to Game A Corp, a bi-weekly podcast where we reach into the Unmatched Fair and pull out the next great video game idea. I am the CEO of Game A Corp, Bryce. And I'm the CEO of Game A Corp, Beckers. Today, we have a special surprise for you. Our best ever episode. I know, you're thinking, you've done so many of them. This is the best? How could you possibly know? The answer is, we already recorded this, and it is a live show from Supercon in 2019, and it was our best one. We've been hiding it from you all along. It was a Patreon-exclusive episode, but now we're making it available to everyone because the Patreons got all of it that they want, and they're letting you enjoy it as well, other other people in the world. <laughs> uh, we talk about cool things like the Joker... And just a lot of the Joker. There's a lot of there's Crazy Taxi with the Joker. There's the Joker with the Joker. It's all in there. And it's I wonder exciting. what current event possibly could have been happening at that time that we recorded it. I don't know. I don't think that was, was it. I think it just randomly came up. I don't know. We talked about the Joker a lot. We did talk. I, the Joker came up once, and then I think it just kept coming up. Uh, but I know you guys want to listen to that right now. But first. Beckers has to tell you something. I wore cosplay for this one. Whoa. Yep. So that's what I wanted to tell you. So uh, watch the video version on youtube.com slash Lasky. Or don't. Like, it's not that important. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to thank our investors. Their names are Aaron C. and Alex Weber. You didn't know it, but without you, the world would have ended. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you too can <laughs> save the world <laughs> by going to patreon.com slash lastgeek and signing up to be an investor because that's how you do it. Yep. Well, time for you to enjoy some hilarious jokes and awesome folks in this great episode oh, of nice. Game Me <laughs> uh, And remember, have fun. Um, hey, Beckers, uh, how do we start live shows? Um, last live show we made. <laughs> what did we make? <laughs> Uh, fart, that fart for ninja fart game ninja is called Silent but Deadly. <laughs> yep. How'd that do? It did super good. That was awesome. That was a really good idea and name. Let's t- let's try and top that today. I don't know if we can. It was good. Uh, okay. Well, I have an idea that I stole from the internet. Squid Pope was on the website Reddit, and he typed in the words. You are a tooth fairy trying to steal larger and larger bones. Because the teeth teeth are a bone. You're a doctor. They're not technically, really? but they're part of the skeleton. We're just going to go with it. Teeth are a pretend bone. They're not a bone. They're part of the skeleton, but they're not a bone? Yeah. What are they? They're made of enamel. Okay, what are bones made out of? Not that. Like marrow and then stuff. Okay. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I mean, people. She's she is a legit doctor. People keep questioning her. She went to school. I'm a pharmacist. It's a doctorate. Don't. I'm not a physician. <laughs> Don't stop showing her weird warts. She gets upset when Don't. I do it. God, <sighs> this is why I'm so mean to him. Okay, what's what's the smallest bone in the human body that apparently isn't a tooth? It's one of the three bones in your ear. The the ha- what are they called? The hammer, the, the anvil, and the stirrup. She's she's a nurse. <laughs> she um, she knows things. She's she's talking to her friend. My friend my friend over there, Haley. She said, the cool angry friend Haley said the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup in the ear. Those are the smallest bones in the human well, body. Well, okay, so I feel like this is going to be real easy for the the tooth. I get I, it's the bone fairy now. Let's let's be on like I, she I wants a promotion. Get, yeah, I guess they got confused in f- uh, fairy school be, and they didn't get the note that oh teeth aren't bones and stuff. She doesn't know that. Um. Okay. So yeah, they're just like oh, it's all white and it's in the human. It's fine. 
Why would you put it like that? Hey, wherever your mind went, that's your fault. <laughs> um. Okay, so, I mean, mission one seems easy. You go in the ear. Like, there's, there's already a hole there. It's an easy there's one. There's a hole in everything. But, like, <laughs> How big is the tooth fairy? It's fairy size. They're, they're oh. the size of a child's wish. <laughs> that's beautiful. Isn't very big. So she just reaches in there. She grabs a hammer or she summons it like Thor. Yeah. Because they're fairies and they can do that. She's magic. So, yeah, actually, that's why, perfect. Why is it a she? I'm picturing Tinkerbell. Is that not right? <laughs> is that not who she is? Everyone knows <laughs> that the end of Peter Pan, she's like, okay, that was a fun adventure. I'm going to go get some bones now. I'm grown up. I got to get a real job now. <laughs> I gotta and I gotta recycle these teeth into the next kids. That's that's what happens. Is that is that how uh Hook lost his hand? Was Tinkerbell? Just need a t- a hand. Uh, bones. There's bones in there. Yes. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Your doctor school was so good, right? I'm just like <laughs> No, it was an alligator or crocodile. It's a whole thing. You need to rewatch Peter Pan. I mean, maybe maybe a, a power up is alligator summoning. If you get enough bones, you can get a it's summon. Her, it's her alligator. I get it. I'm pretty sure it's a crocodile, but it's you, fine. You don't know which it is. I don't, but I think it's a crocodile. And it's got a clock in it. Inside of it. Yeah. Because that she wasn't sure she she doesn't know that bones or teeth aren't bones, and she wasn't sure if a clock was a bone. So she tried to grab that first, and then they she went back to HQ, and they're like, and she didn't know which was an alligator or a crocodile. This is this whole thing? She's like, I brought back some stuff, and they're like, these aren't teeth, these aren't anything, and they're like, okay, I'll, I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out some other stuff out of humans, and we'll see we'll see how we feel. And now she's after bones, not boners. God, uh, <laughs> that's all I've been thinking. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I say the words that you think. Like, I got a bone she can collect. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, um, Haley. Haley said she's got a bone that she can collect. Yes, I was going to repeat that for the for the for the recording. Yeah. If you do want to come up here and just say that into the mic. <laughs> We should get a, a additional mic for the, the, the people. <clears throat> I have a suggestion for the podcast. I would like to make a penis joke. <laughs> mm. I, I hope I hope this records the separate tracks because I just blew the f out of my mic by doing a laugh. He can't help but blow phallic objects when they're put in front of his face. Okay. Um. <laughs> So mission one, go through the air, grab the hammer. I feel like, okay, which is good, which is a good, it's like, uh, it's like uh, Metroid where you got to like grab, you got to get certain stuff and then you can go to different areas. And then like, it's a power up, right? Cause now you have a hammer. Yeah. You get a hammer and now you can go in whatever, you can make your own holes. <laughs> what a conveniently named bone. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. There's a man wearing a Metroid shirt. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Next next bone. Tell me a bone. The patella. <laughs> Where is that? It's your kneecap. I mean, the, oh, and that is perfect because they hit your knee. With a hammer thing. Yeah, and then cool stuff happens. When the doctor does it for me, he just like shakes his head and goes like, that, that's not right. And then he like leaves the room for a while. Like I, th- I see him talking to some other doctors, but I just kind of get bored and leave. And then, I don't know. They seem they seem worried about me, but I I haven't died yet. I can't tell if this is a real story or not. Like, if, all right, you know, I fun fi- side fact, for like the first fifteen years of my life, I didn't know that they were testing a reflex. So whenever they hit my knee, I just kicked it out. <laughs> Because I thought you were supposed to because that's what I saw on TV. So for like the (laughs) the first 15, 16 years of my life, I faked it, that test. So, And that really uh, paid off for the rest of your life. Yeah, because now 
I got away with with not having a knee reflex. I was more talking about the faking things, but sure. Oh. Hi. Let's. Uh, Beckers, do you have? A I ga- have a game idea. Okay, please let's hear it. Have you heard of the game Crazy Taxi? I I've heard of it. What's it about? Tell me everything you know about it. <laughs> okay. There's a man called Dirty Harry, and he drives a taxi, I think. Or maybe the actor who was in Dirty Harry was also in a taxi movie. And he's like, did I do six or seven shots? Were you keeping track? And did you got, you got it in you, punk? Or is, is this that movie? I have no idea where you're even at right now. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm at Supercon. Thank you for coming. Uh, okay. Crazy Taxi is a game where you play as Dirty Harry and need to drive people where they need to go real fast, real good. Don't hit the people. They get sad about that. How'd I do? I don't know because I've never played or that game. So <laughs> good job. Great. Great. We're, we're the <laughs> so- most knowledgeable people here. <laughs> Right, so um, Crazy Taxi. I was thinking, to me, that's like a game where you pick up people in your taxi and you take them from point A to point B as fast as possible and you get a little wild with it. I picture Grand Theft Auto. You got the concept of a taxi. Yeah, it's a taxi, but... Um, I, heard, I heard those existed at one point. He ignores the laws of the road, okay? He's what? a crazy taxi. He's out there. And, so my and idea, Batman's always trying to get him because he's crazy. Arkham, Arkham Asylum. It's a crazy place. Ima- can we talk for a second? Like, imagine somebody just has, like, depression or something. Just, like, a chill, like... like one of those regular mental disorders. Yes. And they're you know, like... That everybody's got those. Yeah, you and know? they're like, okay... Well, uh, welcome to Gotham. Uh, we we have the asylum where we treat, you know, mental patients. This is a mental disease. Why don't you uh, step on down? Uh, you can uh, you can chill out right next to the Joker and <laughs> Sandman. Also, we have a giant crocodile, so he'll he'll be he'll be there during your group therapy sessions. This will be fine. Welcome to Gotham. Like, imagine walking out there like, I just, I get really nervous when, you know, I get nervous about stuff. I have anxiety. I don't know. I'm trying to pretend to be someone with anxiety. I picture it. <laughs> picture it. You're in your group therapy. You're like, man, I just get anxious. And then the Joker's over there and he's like, yeah, I, I get really nervous when I blow up a bunch of people. And you're like, that's kooky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that Joker. That was a funny... That's that a funny one. God, okay. Here's the, here is the thing I want to talk about. Has the Joker ever made a joke? Is it like he just blows up the... If anything, he has done more riddles than jokes. I have never... He's never been like, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? But here's a bomb. It's like that's... <laughs> never does a joke and it's a bad name and he should feel ashamed maybe he just he just blows up buildings because he doesn't know how to tell a joke he did bad in clown school yeah he just didn't tell any jokes but he thought really he really wanted to be a joker so he still went with it and this is our spoilers for the new joker movie coming out if you, well, you heard it here first all right. If it's if it's anything else, then they're they're they did it wrong. Okay, this was supposed to be like a one second segue, but um, crazy taxi. Okay. I was thinking instead we should make crazy ambulance. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. So you get you got this queue up here of people you need to pick up, like head trauma or heart attack or Joker victim, stub toe, Joker victim, whatever. <laughs> And you drive out in the ambulance <laughs> and you, you go pick them up and you, tr- I don't really know how crazy taxi goes. I was hoping you knew the game better than this, but, um, honestly, I think it's better for us to not know the game. So that way they can't sue us. They can be like, you copied our, our game and be like, we don't know what your game is. Okay. So the Joker's taking over this ambulance. 
Okay. Right? And he's, for some reason, he's still trying to pick people up. That, that they would never suspect that, and that's the Joker's whole thing. That's his whole thing. He's just, he's... Kooky. He's kooky, that guy. <laughs> so he's picking up this dude that's bleeding out, and he's not an EMT, right? Yeah. So, so he just puts him in the back and leaves him in there to roll around. And then he just... Yeah, I feel like you get points for the less damage you cause to a human, but also points for speed. And style. And style. So you if gotta, you do you like gotta those, hit some ramps. Hit, hit, do some kick flips. <laughs> I'm thinking of Tony Hawk. <laughs> pro grind skater. the rail. <laughs> grind the rail <laughs> in your ambulance. And for some reason, for some reason, I'm picturing the ice cream truck from Twisted Metal. God, are you familiar with that? I I know what an ice cream truck looks like. Well, this one was a little different because it had are, a clown on it. Yes, he was. Yeah. It was a clown. It was this. But yes. it's an ambulance. Okay. It's all together here. It's it's in one. So you're picking your people up and you're dropping them off at the hospital, but you're the Joker, right? So you can't stop. Because then Batman will get you. Because then <laughs> you'll get got. So you gotta kind of just like pull up and do a fishtail around the emergency entrance and then kind of like shoot them out the back like (laughs) open the doors and then you get points for accuracy (laughs) that's crazy ambulance yep good to do those sick u-turns 360 kick flips that's uh i don't skateboard (laughs) i mean i imagine that is a thing that people could do there, there was one move. I think it was called like the starfish in the in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, mm-hmm. and that was just where you did this, and I could do that one. Uh, for the audio listeners, a, she spread her hands out. You, it's you know, it's um, it's uh, pretty obvious. It's like a starfish. Yeah. All right. That's the second idea. That's it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I liked it. I mean, it wasn't. Some bad. What do you guys think? She'll come up with the credits later. Oh. That's something to Yeah. Okay, now is your turn. We have a bunch of pieces of paper. We're gonna look at them. We're gonna split them up. Beckers, do that. Do are we I guess I guess we could have each grabbed one from the pile. But we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this anyway. We're gonna we're gonna start by reading off each of them and then we're going to figure out what to do with those th- suggestions. <laughs> Becker's is first. Corgi butts. <laughs> Mortician sim. Oh. Baby simulator. Business cat. Huh. I'm liking your pile. <laughs> <laughs> it's her fault. She split it up. Helping old people cross the street simulator. Actually telling customers what you think. <laughs> I feel like that's more of like a therapy. <laughs> <laughs> they, have a, they have a game now where you just write letters to people and then people can write back and that's, that's the game. So yeah, that's therapeutic. We'll make that. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. It's, anything's a game now. I mean, half of our game catalog are things that you're like, that's not a game. And be like... We're charging people for it. (laughs) This one just says, would you also? (laughs) I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Post-apocalyptic Twinkie distributor. (laughs) Doing laundry in VR. Ramen nudes. (laughs) (laughs) It's not short for noodles either. It's... (laughs) It's a naked noodles, naked ramen. Oh, saucy. Ah! <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> okay, what did you like? What, what Did you have ideas for some of these? Okay. Uh, Mortician Sim is actually a game that exists. Uh, business Cat, that's pretty good. Actually, telling people what you think. You just, you just want to go in my pile. Great. Uh, post-apocalyptic Twinkie ramen distributor. Ramen nudes. You, do you want to? Do you want to do ramen nudes? What would this game be? So I'm thinking like <laughs> you're 
<laughs> Are you like a sex worker and your specialty is a noodle fetish? See, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking that you, <laughs> your like significant other has requested that you send nudes. So you have to form ramen noodles into different positions to look like sexy nude nudes that will make your significant other think ah oh, this is this is what i need this is my fetish and the different flavors can be like different flavors <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> insightful yeah i'm good i'm good at stuff um the the problem is that at the end of the game it, it it just results in your significant other having a spaghetti fetish and you can never meet those demands. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was gonna work the word flaccid into there and I just let's just move on, I think. I would have loved to see that happen. I just couldn't do that. It was too uh huh. It was too. Um, she can't look at me. She doesn't. I didn't want to do that. So let's move on. Did you want to? Did you want to do your pile, or we just? Let's just let's just go. Let's just grab and go. Let's do business cat. You want to do business cat? What do you got for business cat? Tell me about business. I cat. did ramen nudes. No, I, I did started ramen, ramen nudes. <laughs> business cat. Okay. So you're a cat. Okay. And you do business. Mm. And it's not the kind, what kind of, of business. Not litter box business. Not like big business like that. <laughs> not big business. You're you're strictly middle middle management. You you are somebody who has a cat. Wait. And you're trying to get your cat to be the CEO of a company. Is this okay? Okay. Okay. Because okay. there's the, there's this town in Alaska that has a cat for a mayor. Like this can be done. Okay. Okay, have you seen the hit movie, Baby Boss? You mean Boss Baby? Boss Baby. No, I haven't, but I know it better than you, apparently. Have you seen the animated series? It's, it's the thing. Okay, let me, tell you, let me tell you the plot of Boss Baby. I'm going to walk you through some cinema masterpiece right now. There is, a, there is a boy, and he does not have a brother, and then later in the film, he does have a brother. How did that come to be? It's, it's <laughs> from, from the telling that he says a taxi dropped him off, perhaps some sort of crazy taxi. Um, but uh, taxi, taxi shows up, brother shows up, and then suddenly the parents are like, hey, here's your new brother, and they didn't seem weirded out by like any of this, but it's all, it's all fine. And then the it turns out that the baby is the boss of a company about making people think babies are real dope. And he has come down to Earth to... Are babies aliens? No, they come from... Can the, we cross Baby Simulator over into this? Uh, uh, I mean... Uh, no, but well, maybe, but we'll get back. Oh, I need to tell you about Boss Baby. Okay, go, go, okay. go. Keep it together. So in Boss Baby, the movie. Um, not the video game. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go. Uh, Boss Baby has come down to earth because dogs have become more desirable than babies people want dogs over babies so he has come down to try and figure out what the dog people are up to and try and you know get them to knock it off so that people want babies again is that really the plot that is the plot of boss baby you think you coming in to my podcast panel and question me about boss baby do you know how many i i i sat my girlfriend down and was like honey We've been together for a while now. You need to watch Boss Baby. <laughs> and she's like, please no. And I'm like, it's the it's the only way we can continue. And she's like, fine. Bless her heart. <laughs> so, yes, Boss Baby. It's a, that, And there's a whole deal where be, the, the reason that this happens is because the kid, the, the original kid, his parents work for Puppy Co. 
And so they're the marketing team. So he became the, their baby so that he could like be an inside okay. man and find out what's going on. Cat so, cult. Business cat. Yeah, business cat. It's boss baby, but you're a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody, they adopt a cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they, bring, they bring the cat home. Yeah. And... Uh, it's it's the the boss baby's parents now are like well let's get a cat and then the the cat people like the you know no one is suspecting the cat people like who who wants a cat i feel like cats would just kill the other baby to get ahead you know that'll totally make people want more cats well just like this it'd be an inside job like a secret yeah but that their goal is to make people want cats and yeah if i saw a news story that said Cat kills baby. Okay, maybe well, I didn't maybe say I don't he, want baby no more. I didn't say or he maybe would I don't want cat no to more. death. He'd probably like hire a hitman. Yeah. A man, a hitman, not a hit cat. Okay. Duh. Yeah. So he kills the baby that's running the boss baby company. So nobody wants babies, and now he's got to go after big puppy. Okay. Instead. <laughs> I mean, technically, if it's the same family, you got it all in one because you got the boss baby there. So the parents are next. And then the the puppy co marketing, though though, spoilers. It turned out. Oh God. That the the puppy co parent, the guy who runs puppy co, used to be the head of baby co, but he came down to earth. And when then, he was a baby. When he was in baby heaven, there the ba- baby baby co is heaven. I guess they don't specifically say it, but there's the clouds. There's a whole thing. Oh, it's where babies come from. Yeah, and then and then he comes down and he's real resentful. Well, you th- send that baby back to baby heaven, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you take care of business. Right now. Call back that taxi that dropped him off. Call back that taxi that dropped him off. (laughs) Yes. Okay, so you This uh, is you wanna you wanna make you wanna make I I presented you a wholesome game where you just had to be like the the most adorable cat in the land and make people really want cats, but Beckers says no. This is a game where you're a cat who has to assassinate babies. Here's the thing. I have to get this all out during the live shows because when I say this for our pre-recorded ones, Aaron edit, edits everything out and I need someone to hear about killing babies <laughs> and bestiality last time and gonorrhea, all these other things that I can only say at the live show because the, this is it. Yeah, there, there's a reason when we filled out the form where I asked Beckers, was like, are we 13 plus? And she's like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and some of them are like, are you 18 plus or are not? And it's like, well. Should people come to this? Is this is this illegally allowed? <laughs> and we're like, eh, it's pushing it, but maybe. If there was a kid in here, I couldn't do this. I think I would probably talk about Barbies. Okay. What about Barbies? Uh, Okay. Do you know what game I used to play when I was a kid? Barbie, Barbie Riding Club. Okay. That was the best video game. I put more hours into Barbie Riding Club than I than most people put into Skyrim. Right? I had my horse, Marshmallow, and we solved the secret and we saw the unicorn in the meadow. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful game. Did so, you did you ride the unicorn in the meadow? No, you couldn't ride it. It was wild, Bryce. You can't capture unicorns and taint them. Idiot. That's what they said about horses until we... Nobody said that about horses. There was probably a point where they were like... Well, that person was wrong, (laughs) but I'm not. Okay. Do you want to... Okay, so Barbies. Wait, okay. Is that a game idea? Or did you just tell us more about Barbies? Let's make Barbie riding... (laughs) simulator <laughs> Two. 2020 <laughs> that's the, that's my next game idea how can we spice this up maybe you get to ride the unicorn now what somebody just said or you could oh ride the barbies oh my god 
And then it's Barbie riding simulator. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm so glad this is a live show, so I can't. This can't be stopped. So, okay. So that's the game. Okay. So is, <laughs> you, is this just Red 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 Dead Redemption, but you're a Barbie? No, it's not, because you're riding the Barbies. Oh and yeah. And their names in the like. Wait. So uh, in in the writing, to be clear, are you a horse? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure who's you're, what the roles are. You're a miniature are. horse. A <laughs> miniature. And they are large Barbies. <laughs> No, because it's very, it's not bestiality because all you're doing is writing it in the traditional sense. Okay, well, no, it's actually not bestiality <laughs> because bestiality is bestiality because of the lack of consent. Because they can't say, <laughs> but if it's you're the horse. It's not bestiality because you're an intelligent horse. Yeah, if you're the horse and the Barbie is. I was gonna say it's nay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're. <laughs> Get up here, God. <laughs> So, so is the goal of the she game? She said, "All horses can say is nay." So, is the is the goal of the game to be a really sexy horse and seduce Barbie? Well, the problem is if you're riding, if okay, so are we doing like you're riding Barbies around like horses? Because if so, then they're not intelligent anymore, and it's bestiality again. I mean, <laughs> that are b- Barbies beasts. I just thought if I thought this dumb, was like a dating sim where you're a, trying to seduce Barbie as a, a horse. There's a lot of ways we could go with this. And Which way would you like to go? The dating simulator, please. <laughs> the one that's least bestiality like. And you just look like a horse like Bojack Horseman. Like yeah. you're up your bipedal. It was like, hey, last game you rode me a lot. It's my turn. I've grown up now. <laughs> That's his pickup line. We've changed. And now it's my turn. You... To ride. Yeah. You. That's the joke. <laughs> Remember? Welcome. Yep, we're done. Would you like to say more about this game? We're done with that one. Okay. A horse in a suit. <laughs> with. <laughs> and he's got a bouquet of roses. Mm-hmm. And there's Barbie. Uh, standing in front of her dream house. Standing in front of her dream house. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Barbie in a balcony. I got this. Mm. Shut up because I got this. There's Barbie up in a balcony and she's looking down on this horse in a suit and he's holding up a boom box. That's the cover. What about Ken? What about him? How? He doesn't need to know. What? <laughs> so is this like a... You know, on the side thing, you're not like, you know. On the side thing. It's not, marriage isn't in the books. Barbie's a desperate housewife. (laughs) She gave up. Ken catches you in the act. See, I I figured that maybe you had to get Ken out of the picture. Well, that can, that would greatly help (laughs) if he was out of the picture because Barbie's sick of, like she used to be an astronaut and a veterinarian and a doctor and now she's a housewife and she's ready to. Uh, start her next adventure as a uh, what uh-huh. do you call it? She's not a mistress because she's the she's what? Get caught and become blue. Yeah, <laughs> and in this in this iteration of Barbie, Ken works for a glue f- factory. So so you, wait, okay. So you have to like seduce Barbie, but like the entire time you are like trying to avoid Ken. Yeah, and if he comes home, you just shuck off all your clothes and stand on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> and just go like moo oh wait no that no that's not what um ne- ne- select animal sound <laughs> don't pick the wrong one remember the horse goes nay <laughs> or oh even better uh-huh it's it adds an element of like fun luck into this game oh. where you spin that that wheel with the animal sounds and whatever it lands on you might oink you can't help it <laughs> and that's why you really gotta encourage uh barbie to move to a farm yes to cover up all the odd noises you might make <laughs> uh, ah. during the riding no <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. So glad Erin's not here. She's 
Josh is our editor. <laughs> okay, I think we got time for one more game idea. Okay. Do you want me to, Corgi Butts? You want me to do, do it? Go. You're a professional. <laughs> yeah, because all per, you know, Disney, if you just send them a script, they have to make it. No, not a script, just two words. <laughs> That's how half their their movies got made. People just sent them two words and they're this like This is going to be a game about corgi butts. Okay. It's going to be Mhm. It's coming. It's up in here. It's coming out my mouth <laughs> the way that it, it's happening. Um the corgi butts. Yeah. 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 You're going to be corgi butts. This is going to be a game about collecting corgi butts. Pictures of corgi butts. Okay. <laughs> because everybody knows that the best butts are corgi butts. They're very fluffy and large compared to the size of the dog. The butt to dog ratio is the largest in corgis. Go on. So it's Pokemon Snap with corgi butts. Okay. I've done a lot here. Is this. <laughs> So is this is this Pokemon Go snap corgi butts? You like go find you have to go find corgis, take pictures of their butts, and then our app will give you points if it's real. And this is a world where everyone's a corgi. Okay. So like they don't want you to take pictures of their butts. So you're you're actually a creeper. Yeah, I was going to say, like, imagine this was, I don't know, humans. Except it's corgis because Uh huh. that makes it okay for us to release. <laughs> Everything's fine if it's an animal. Quit it. <laughs> okay, so the... So it's a stealth game. Okay. And the corgis are sentient. Yeah. And they don't wear pants still, but it's still very rude. To take pictures of their butt. Yeah, even though they're hanging it out all over the place. Okay. Mm so, just, I mean, I feel like it's the easiest to uh, take pictures of their butt because they can't see you if yeah. you're doing it right. So, if everyone, <laughs> if everyone's a corgi... What are you? Are you also a corgi? Are you like the last human? And you work Or you or did you like is there like a corgi land, a corgi corgiopolis and you were uh visiting on a there you're the first human. All the corgis of the world have been like we're kind of uncomfortable. And you want to bring the glory of corgis back to your people, so you take a picture of the most important part. The butt. Okay. I don't know. I don't like this. You handed me a piece of paper that said corgi butts. I'm out of ideas. Okay. I think we should be done. <laughs> okay. Well, then that leaves us with the last step of the podcast. <laughs> Choosing a video game idea to be the one that we did. And we make cool box art and it's a great experience. <laughs> Barbie Riding Club 2020. I had a feeling you would pick that. Hey, audience, what was your favorite game? Barbie Riding Club 2020. Okay, we've had at least two people in this room have said Barbie Riding Club 2020. And now, and now I am forced to make thumbnail <laughs> of this thing. I hope you do exactly what I described. Yeah, that's totally going to be easy to achieve. <laughs> He usually just like takes a picture and photoshops something else on top of it. So. It's I'm very bad at Photoshop and it's He probably can't do this one. No, no. I would it would be easier for me to find a horse and have them hold up a boom box than for me to achieve what you have asked using Photoshop skills. Take a picture of that movie mm -hmm. with the boom box. With the boom box. And put a horse head on it. And then That's the cover. Okay. Well, that has been the Game Make Corp live from Supercon episode. Thank you for all the people who have attended. Uh, all Sorry, the people also. Who submitted game ideas. And if anybody is crazy enough to be listening to this after the fact, 
Thank you. We appreciate you. I'm I'm Last Geek on Twitter. I'm Dr. Beckers with a Z on Twitter, and we talked about that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but the audio listeners might not have heard well, that. They've heard that. I would hope I've, so. I've said it before. <laughs> okay. And Dr. Beckers with an S on Twitch. Well, this brings us to the end of the podcast. And as you go out into the world, remember, have fun. <laughs>